Low T99 presents testosterone for intramuscular injection. Draw up an injection instructions for injection into the thigh. This video was designed so that you could easily pause, stop, and take a look at your experience in real life versus the video. First things first, lay out all of your supplies that you'll need for the testosterone injection. That includes the 3 ml syringe with attached 18 gauge or similar needle, a 25 gauge needle for the injection, a 5 ml vial of testosterone, an adhesive bandage, and two cotton balls, and two alcohol wipes. Next, you'll go ahead and remove the little metal cap that's covering the vial stopper of your testosterone vial and clean it with an alcohol wipe. Next, take your syringe and draw in just about a half an ml of air into the syringe and inject that into your testosterone vial. That'll make it easier to draw the testosterone up into the syringe. Next, with the tip of the needle under the fluid line of the testosterone and the testosterone vial upended, you'll go ahead and draw back the amount of testosterone you've been prescribed by your physician. And it's important to know this amount varies from the video and also that you can adjust the amount of testosterone in the vial as long as you keep the needle tip in the vial, it's fine. You can pull back on the syringe, push in and pull back until you adjust, get the air bubbles out of the um, needle and syringe, and you have a perfect syringe of testosterone. Next, twist off the needle you used to draw up the testosterone, place it in the sharps, and go ahead and open your 25 gauge needle and twist that onto your syringe. Now you are all ready to inject your testosterone. Next, you'll want to take some time, sit in a chair, and locate the site where you will inject the testosterone in your thigh. This is called an intramuscular injection, so we want to make sure that we inject into a muscle. And the easiest place to do this as a beginner is your quadriceps muscle, which makes up the bulk of the front of your thigh. So in order to locate uh, those muscles, go ahead and extend your knee, it tightens up your thigh, and then as you see in the picture, you can tell where there's a good amount of muscle in the leg. You want to make sure that your location is not too far lateral, so not too far down the side of your thigh, which would be towards the table in this picture, and not too far medial, so that would be up toward the midline of the thigh, but right in between is the perfect location. Take some time to locate that spot. Once you've located the location where you will inject, go ahead and clean the area with an alcohol wipe and let that dry. Holding the syringe like a dart and pinching the area slightly if you'd like to, insert the needle into the skin all the way up to the plastic hub. Quicker is usually a little bit easier. And then you'll do what's called aspirating, which means pulling back slightly on the plunger. You're looking for any blood to come up into the syringe. If it does, that just indicates you've hit a blood vessel, which is not an emergency. It just means that you need to find another location to inject where you will just be injecting muscle. Aspirating and not hitting a blood vessel means that you're in the muscle and all you should see come into the syringe is air. Then, after aspirating, you'll go ahead and press the plunger firmly until all the medication is injected into the muscle. This may be done pretty quickly, or you can do it slowly if you'd like. Go ahead and remove the needle, take it straight out of the skin, place the needle in the sharps container, and then apply a little pressure with a cotton ball and massage the area, which should decrease any pain or tenderness afterward. 